Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. My stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today, we're gonna be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X to Fiend Tales run. Um, welcome in, Possum. Welcome in. Thank you for giving me the warm welcome as soon as we went live. Hello, Geekstra. Good morning. It's uh, we're we're one minute past morning for me. It's not technically morning anymore, but uh, it's still pretty close. It's still pretty close, so it counts. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Are you having a lovely weekend? It's true. Yeah. <laughs> But it's still very close. It's still very close. It's only technically good afternoon now. It's not by much. It's not by much. Two hours apart. Oh, okay, okay. I see. I see. So it is still morning for you then. Y'all hear that? The sound of some fiend tales. Are you ready? I feel like I feel like I could be louder. I'm gonna I'm gonna gain up a little bit. Do 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 do. I feel like I'm always adjusting this microphone. I never. Well, maybe I did. <laughs> I was about to say I don't think I ever used to adjust my Yeti so much, but uh, I'm a liar. No, I, I was fiddling with that all the time. Playing some Dragon's Dogma, totally forgot how to play. I know that feeling. When you haven't played a game for a while and you pick it back up again, you're like, oh wait, I forgot what all the buttons are. I forgot every single button. Which um, happens sometimes to me when I stream because <laughs> I play these games only on the stream on the weekends. So sometimes I forget all of the buttons. All right, but uh, but right now, I do remember what we were what we were working on. We are finishing chapter three. All right, let's make sure our girls have uh, have good stuff because we're switching back to using the girls. Okay, we've got Crystal Bangle. Okay, wait. We definitely need some Iron Dukes. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, wait, who el Who has the other Iron Duke? It must be the Chiboka Bow. Oh, I guess I can do that in the equip menu. Chocobo. Yeah, give me my Iron Duke back remove. Actually, let's do this. There. Give me my Iron Duke. There we go. Okay. We're all better now. So we're going to actually go finish chapter three, which requires us to go over to Jose. So that's what we're going to do. Vision time. Okay, can we skip? No. My god. Let me skip. I uh this game is so random in which cutscenes it lets you skip and not skip. Fran. A Gipple Fravadres. Who knows where Gipple is? Who knows? He says Gipple's not back yet. Wonder if he's still with Nooch and Barelight. Probably. Probably. <laughs> 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 well, because you're not expert fiend fighters like Moa. Jane, hello, hello, Jane. Welcome in with the official first. Yeah. <laughs> These people say hi to me. They don't click the first. They do not know, but that's okay. You know. You know. You can teach them. You can teach them the ways. Hello. Hello, Jane. Hey, Jane. Did you write that post? Did you did you go right? I'm gonna pick on you for a second, because I don't think you would have whined if you didn't want to be uh, writing. You know what I'm saying? No, Karen, you can't make him. <laughs> You're right. I can't make him. I can't make him. <clears throat> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I I can't make M. <laughs> I miss so much. We're at the end of chapter three, my friend. We're at the end of chapter three. Um, the no no fiend tales right now. We're actually like beating the game, 
for this chapter, and we're going to move on to chapter four. So we did all the chapter three fiend tales, um, and one that I thought was only in chapter five, but it turns out, nah, um, you can get it in this chapter. And so now we're beating the chapter three. So this is that annoying part with like um, Ixion and all of that, you know. Okay, and we need these guys. Okay, we need these guys to do stone breath on us so that we can learn that particular um, blue bullet. Oh no, bitch. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, where's my remedy? Don't be confused. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. There, I kept scrolling past it. Don't kill him! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you so much for the prime, Jane. Ah! <laughs> How did I forget to sub at some point? What the fuck? Well, thank you so much for doing so. I love it when you make Jeff Bezos spend his money on me. It's my favorite. Why am I going into the items? I should be doing White Wind. Oh, at least um, Yuna has a ribbon. Jesus. Does White Wind cure poison? It does. It does cure the poison. Jane, it is better late than never when it comes to subs. You know what I'm saying? Stone breath me. Thank you. Okay, now don't actually petrify all of them. Good. That's what we like to see. Okay, so this is the blue bullet that we needed from this area. So now you know how to get it too. And that's the only one. We can just kill now. We can just kill with reckless abandon. Just destroy everything until we can get up to Ixion. We're doing pretty good on our blue bu blue bullets so far in collecting those. <clears throat> We've gotten every one um, available to us in the story so far. And I have not been using the arena. You can, of course, get some of them in the arena, but I want to show you where to get them outside of the arena. Oh my gosh, is it gonna be the last pedestal? Is it gonna be the last pedestal that I push? It's gonna be the very last pedestal I push. Sometimes we are not so lucky. I thought it was Queen behind me, it's Ash behind me. I was gonna tell a little bit about Queen. She, um, she's still having some sniffle problems and uh, we don't really know what's going on. We've got some nose drops now that we're trying to see if that does anything. But uh, she hates them. <laughs> we can't really administer them properly. So I don't know how we're going to really know if these nose drops even work. Because, like, I mean, I'm not convinced I'm putting them, getting them in her nose or even as much of them as I'm supposed to get. Um, God, motherfucker. Oh, well, they all still attacked anyway. Okay, great. <laughs> Good job, girls. Okay, does confusion stay? Confusion does not stay. Okay. We can proceed. Oh, I can't even pause to skip here. All right, we, we kick the horse's booty. An Aeon? I'm so sorry, Cuddles. With Albed Machina. Isn't that what they said? They did say that. They said it in Albed, though, and no one registers. How can this be? At this point, they all know Pain can speak Albed. They do not register. She can speak Albed. They realize it later. They're too, they're too uh, flabbergasted with the dark Ixion. Just too amazed by Ixion. I'm gonna get you with auto attack. Sorry. I know that's like terrible for you. Must make you feel like really, really messed up. Hurts the ego, you know. Oof, I don't like the amount of damage that does. That's too much damage. Right after this round of attacking, we'll have one from White Wind. <clears throat> I 
Recharge? Oh, that's rude. Healing yourself with your lightning. Bye, Ixion. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Love you. Miss you, Cuddles. Still not letting me skip scenes. Can't even pause this. Out. Heaven forbid someone has to pee uh, while they're in this part. No way. What if you had like a lot of trouble with the Ixion the fight and you're like, thank God the so fight's over, I really have to go pee, and you try to pause, you it can't, you can't pause, and you're gonna world have to miss the cutscene because you really have to go pee? That would really suck. But something told me to stay away. That'd be really, really terrible. Uh oh. He's not dead. Huh? What? Whee! It was the exact wrong direction to jump, Yuna. Any other direction would have been preferable. Even towards Ixion would have been a preferable direction. Silly girl. <clears throat> Yuna! These ladies beat Nats and Hongs. How did I not see that before? Yeah, of course they are. The outfits is what this is all about. I apparently missed that message earlier. I was so distracted. I was so distracted by your beautiful Prime sub. Oh, we can skip there. Okay, fabulous. Yeah, we don't need to do all this. <laughs> oh, Geekstra. I love Open remembering the kittens. It's true. It's the best part of this game, all their cute fits. <laughs> And I do like, I like the gun mages a lot, so this run's been fun when we do use the girls, you know. Whatever you say, Shu Yin. Give this to Pain. It was all I was able to find. Yep, yep, we need those. Yeah, give her this one too. Thanks, Gipple. Huh? Our wills. <gasps> He's kidding. Just make sure Pain gets him, all right? How do you know her? The four of us go way back. <clears throat> Don't go. It's under control. Take care of things topside. Don't worry, guys, I will. I didn't know what had happened. Everywhere I looked, I found only questions. Can you skip this but part? Anything, oh, you can't. Okay. I'm just angry. One thing after another, and I'm already confused to begin with. Hey! Where am I? We can't run anywhere. But the game makes you run around for a second. I guess so, so that it can show you that you can't go anywhere. <gasps> I'd scream too, you know. I would scream too. Nah. 
Time to whistle. Where are you? <gasps> He's there. Does Wait. she have a neck tail? <laughs> it's it's a really tiny ponytail. A really tiny ponytail, and she only has it in some outfits. So I guess hairstyle changes too when they change when they do their dress fears. Yeah, it's a tiny tiny ponytail. The thinnest ponytail ever. No, it's a ponytail. I swear. There's hair at the bottom. Yeah. It, it's a ponytail and she's wrapped it in in pink. There's hair sticking out the bottom. Her hair. Come in, Yuna. See? Yuna. Look at the bottom of it. There's hair. Yuna. It's a ponytail. Reporting in. The weirdest ponytail you've ever yeah. seen. Because Final Fantasy can't do anything normal when it comes to clothing and hairstyles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does. She has the Guinness rat tail. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're starting chapter four, you guys. That's chapter three. Time for chapter four. Whee! Okay. Um. Oh wait, I have to go up to the deck. I have to talk to Pain next. I remember. Uni, Uni. Yeah. Leave me alone, Riku. I'm trying to talk to Pain. You gotta give Pain the two spheres. All right. Now there's a couple of required calm sphere scenes we have to do next just to progress. So we're gonna go do those. You're not Don't worry, she's not leaving, Riku. Don't worry. Wanna check the calm spheres? I guess I can't write those replies now. Sauce is waking up. <laughs> well you better go tend to the sauce, you know? The sauce, um, you can't, you can't burn the roux, so you better go tend to that sauce. Final Fantasy was what I wanted to do. Oh, I understand, I understand. We are gonna catch one fiend here in just a little bit. Um, if you want to keep, keep, a uh, keep it going, even though you can't watch, you gotta go tend to the sauce. Um, it needs to be stirred. Okay. Um, we need to do Calm Sphere Network. And there's a couple we have to watch. We have to watch this one. Thank you so much for the lurk, Jane. We love our lurkers here. Okay, I don't think we have to watch the whole thing. I'm pretty sure I just have to trigger it to start. Where is he? There he is. Hey, Yuna, how you been, huh? Okay, I think you just have to get to that point. And then let's go to Kilika. So we gotta watch this one as well. Yeah, and then she'll walk us around. I don't think we have to finish this. I think we just have to wait until it lets us leave, and then that's plenty. So we just have to let her let her take us on a little walk first. Because it doesn't let us end the scene yet. You wanna come want us to come over to your house, Donna? Is this a play date? Are we gonna have a dinner party? Donna, what can you cook? Oh. Oh, oh. Well, that's Killica Port for you. No, we're on her bed. Wow. Wow, Donna. Oh my gosh. From the moment Nuge disappeared, everyone... Okay, I don't think we... I think we just have to get to where she starts talking. Okay, next one is Mushroom Rock Road. <laughs> Lady Yuna! Thank you for that, Geekstra. <laughs> We've received some unconfirmed uh, reports of trouble brewing in Bethesda. Um, every time, every time, it just reminds me of our Matrix episodes. Okay, and then we have to go to Bavel. And we have to get the conversation started with Maroda. We eat people here, that's true. Absolutely. Um, 
Yeah, we love cannibalism. Hey, Marota, what's up? I hope you didn't overhear that conversation. I was lying. It was it was just memes. Okay, just kidding. I didn't mean it, Marota. <laughs> okay. Um. So after that, we can talk to Looks Buddy like over here. I still haven't come. Here is three leading big yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's all you have to do. You don't have to like. You don't have to like um. Watch the whole scene. You just have to get it started. Okay, and then talk to Buddy. And now we are gonna catch the one new fiend. There's one new one to capture, um, in chapter four, that uh, that's unlocked for us. So I'm gonna show you guys who that is. It's a fun one. Okay, so we're gonna go down to Gazette and we're gonna use a special, and we're gonna capture a humanoid. Okay. You can get Garrick. Okay, so in chapter four, you can get Garrick. So, yeah, that's it. We catch him. Um, yeah, let's go back to the menu. And he's considered a person. <laughs> he's considered a person. Uh, Mr. Garrick. So we can just release him. Yeah, no fiend tail because he's not a fiend. Bye, Garrick. Thanks for hanging out for a second. Love ya. Mwah. See you later. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's that's the fiend tale, fiend capturing in chapter four. So now we just kind of have to finish chapter four. Um, now there are there are a couple of uh, scenes that we have not seen yet in the Comsphere network that I want to show you, and Comlands has one of them. So we're gonna go to the Comlands, and we're gonna connect. If you do not catch a chocobo before chapter four, you get this scene. Okay. So. Aw. Poor Clasco. He's so sad. I think he just whines like that. I don't think he actually says any lines. Just groans. Yeah, he just groans. I sorry, Clasco. Don't worry. We're gonna get you some chocobos. We just haven't done it yet. Okay. Patience is a virtue, friend. All right. So now what we have to do is we have to do our Mehen Mayhem. Um, so we gotta go to Mehen High Road and do that so that we can accuse a different person of uh, of the the Mehen Mayhem. Hey, Rin. Rin. Hey, there you are. What's up? Is something wrong? Lately, a number of strange events have been occurring here on the high road. Our hover was destroyed. Also, the drone machina malfunctioned. I've launched an investigation. But clues have been hard I missed why your TV set is Forgive out. Me for asking it such oh, the comp spheres time. just suck. <laughs> but your help in this they just the the spheres just suck, I and so they're they're not a clear picture. With your help, the mystery will be solved in no time. But <laughs> what should we do? The the the, the are used to this. They think this is like the normal, and this is what recordings and streaming should, should look like. Suspicious, please report it to me. I guess when you have magical recording, it's kind of like that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are attempting to accuse the prophet. That is our goal. So we're gonna go to a uh, new road, right? Yeah, 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 I think so. No, high road, we're gonna go to high road. I had to look at my notes real quick. We gotta go to high road first. Mm-hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Remember, that's the girl that was hanging out with the prophet. So, yeah. Let's call Rin. Since the calm arrived, many people have forgotten that they're prejudiced towards the Albed. It's truly heartening. All right. 
So let's switch. Now we're going to go over to um, New Road. We've seen this one before. It's this uh, It's this crowd gathers up on the bridge. So we're just going to wait for the people to show up. Then we're going to call Rin. Oh, there she is again. Huh. Allow me to investigate. He seems a bit alarmed. Perhaps something is on his mind. Where he going? Where he going? Hey, what'd you say to him, girl? Hey, what'd you say to him? Hey, hey, hey. She walk away from me. Okay, so now we go to the travel agency. And we're gonna switch back to New Road after that. And we should get a different scene. Yeah, here we go. Allow me to investigate. Hmm, there are marks here indicating that something fell into the ravine. It seems we are getting closer okay. to the heart of the matter. So Perhaps further investigation will yield the clues we need. Yes, okay, so phase two. We're gonna go to the travel agency back. And we should see. Yes, here she is. She's gonna come check out the drone console. What's up, lady? You called? Can I help you? It was a simple enough question. Maybe she has something weighing on her conscience. Okay, interesting. So now we're gonna go to the ruins. Okay, what's that? They're meeting with somebody. All right, let's call Rin. You called? They appear to be making some sort of deal. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna go to the hover crash site. And we're waiting for the Machina to come. We've seen this one before, but it's, um, we'll use this one also for the profit. There they are. Okay. You called? How awful. The Machina appear to have found a wounded man in the brush. Fortunately, his wounds are not severe. I'll take him to safety after I've surveyed the area. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the travel agency back. And we can see this Albed technician playing with the drone console, but we're not gonna call Rin. Okay, and now we're gonna go to the high road north entrance. Yep. And we should see the, the prophet speaking to, to this lady. He should come by and do that. Have you found something? Hmm, what kind of bargain could he be striking? It seems we are getting okay. closer to the heart of the matter. Perhaps further investigation will yield the clues we need. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we're on phase three. We're going to go to travel agency front. And we should see the hover driver guy. Yep, okay. You called? The man we found injured on the old road earlier spoke deliriously as I brought him here to safety. The new information has proven most enlightening. Okay, now we're going to go to old road. There we go. And we're just going to call Rin and he's going to talk to those guys. Have you found something? Pardon me, but is there some there's something I'd like to ask you? Of course, I'll make it worth your while. I see. Thank you very much. 
Silence may be golden, but Gil shines even brighter. <laughs> Thank you for that, that wisdom, Rin. Thank you for that wisdom. Okay, now we're gonna go to High Road. Okay, there they are. We're gonna call Rin. Now, now, where could she be off to in such a rush? Okay. I it is all starting to fall into place. I will handle the rest of the investigation and think more on this evidence. All right, so this I'm should be for your help, Lady Yuna. all the setup we need for chapter five with this, so we can be done. Okay, and we don't need to see any other calm sphere scenes in part one. We can just go ahead and head over um, to Moonflow for the next part. So let's just save real quick. And time to chase Tobley. Hopefully he doesn't run too fast. Huh? Yikes, sorry. Must have dropped you off at the wrong place. As long as you're there. She's laughing at me stroll. in the background. She does this every time. Lady. It's not that funny. What's up, dudes? Hey, you. You haven't seen Tom? Nope, sure we haven't. Have word that he's somewhere... Now we have to chase him back and forth down the moon flow. Oh, I did not mean to white wind. I just wanted to attack. Still there, ahead of you. Less. I wonder where they're at on their other gun mage skills. Not the blue bullets, but like the other stuff. Where, where are they at? Okay, they're learning scan level three. They're probably all learning scan level three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then that's the last one. That's the last one they need to learn, and then they can use another address sphere until it's time to go get more blue bullets. Y'all give up too fast. Come back here.
I almost was gonna kill the chocobo. I was gonna kill it, but no. He ran away too fast. I wish there was a good way to skip this little sequence where you're chasing Tobly around. That would be nice. I guess you could speed up if you want to, like, go through it really quick. Okay, walk past this guy. There he is. Just let him walk right past me. This guy's run cycle is my favorite. Look at his head! Wobble, 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 How does he run like this? Doesn't he hurt his neck? Doesn't it make his brain feel weird? Ah! Ah! Oh, Tobly! Why you want to run me over? I've always been your friend. Okay, I don't want to catch you for a debt. I want to catch you because I have a fun activity for you that I think you'll like. Hi there! <laughs> oh my gosh. Geek Stream found the real screamer. <laughs> I was too I was too in the zone. I was too in the zone. <clears throat> I need to jack the volume up on that one specifically because it doesn't always get me. You know. I need to go in and adjust that. I don't know if I can do that on trigger fire. These are set up on trigger fire. I have to go see if I can adjust the volume for just that one. Crash! Okay, now he's on the other side. Come on, let me ride the shoe puff. Says totally cross the yeah, I know, Pain. Yes. I follow on shoe puff, yes. Ride the shoe. Yes. And we learned from the Fiend Tales that um, male and female Hypello look identical. There is absolutely zero sexual dimorphism um, or even individuality among Hypellos. <laughs> It's literally one model, they all look the same. Because it was the same model for the most beautiful Hypello with the, with the most gorgeous dance moves. Ah. You don't support so who knows? Who knows how the Hypellos tell each other apart? They must be able to. But, uh... I cannot. Yo, I'm gonna... Maybe they have special calls like whales or something. Yeah. Right? That would make Thank sense because they're like amphibious, like water creatures that still breathe air. So maybe they have special like calls for each other. Because don't a lot of whale pods have like 
calls that are like that act as if the different whales like names. Didn't we find that out at one point? I bet Hypello have that. So they have special calls that are unique for them, so that they can be like, I'm here, I'm here, it's me. Bye, fiends. Hello. Can I skip this? Oh my god, I can't skip this one scene either. Hi, hi, what can I do for Well Spectacularly spectacular twill be a Yummy Uni Unipalooza. Definitely want to. Yep, yep. A minor detail. Well Well, the more people Aha! Then how about the Thunder Plains? Now Simple, simple, leave it to me. Oh, boys! Hey, Pello Army of Promoters. Advertising is our special. Our. Yep. Brother's orders. Bring every last high pillow back with you. Yeah, Buddy and Brother love the high pillows. They have a affinity. They have affinity for the high pillow people. We're over the calm land. What are you up to? We don't care what he's up to, you know. Okay, so now we have to go to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is a scene. There is a scene. There is a scene. Okay. Want to check the comm spheres? Yes, I do. All right. So, because we told Leon and Aid to go to the Moonflow, we have a new scene in Moonflow that we've not seen before. So, I'll show that to you guys. There they are! Way to fix Kamari's horn? Totally not know how. Leon and Aid think of returning to Mountain, but first we help with concert. Can you help us over here too? <clears throat> Leon and Aid go. Farewell, Lady Yuna. So if they go to the moon floor, then they end up helping with the concert. Oh, that's so cute. Bye, hi, pillow. See you later. Thanks for doing the promotions. Okay, now we have to go do our little rehearsal mini-game. What's up, Riku? We just mash all the buttons. Mash all the buttons and you win. It sounds hey, awful. Hurry up and change. It sounds awful, but that's how it works. Oh, look, it's Landon. We killed her in the uh, in our uh, Pokemon uh, Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Poor Landon. Didn't get to make it to a Bulbasaur. Get it, Karen! Thanks. Look at our sweet dance moves. We're so cool. And we get another smooth sailing.
Woo, total groove, smooth sailing. Yeah. No penalty for mashing the wrong buttons, only prize for mashing the it's right buttons. It's almost time. Do you think people will show up? Yeah, of course you they will. Betcha. The Thunder Plains will be Why we're we having it in the Thunder Plains, I don't but understand, but sing? we are. Apparently you can fit a lot of people there. I need to look up how the speedrunner skipped this part. <laughs> how did the speedrunner figure well, out how to skip right this then? scene? The heck. It's more like I felt it. I can hear it echoing inside me. Is you cannot skip. Len? I think so. I don't know much about her, but I'm learning more and more. Hopefully it'll let me Bits skip the actual concert part. Memories keep pouring in. It's like it's like I can feel what she was feeling. Thus shall Len's scattered thoughts be woven into bittersweet song. Something like that? Hey, that was poetic. <laughs> we'll be arriving soon. After Buddy drops us off, he and the others will go pick up the spectators. So we won't be able to board for a while. You got it. Okay. Rehearsal done. Now we gotta go do the Thunder Plains mission. <laughs> Koneko! I looked over thinking it was gonna be Lunar, but you faked me out. How are you today, Koneko? How are you today? I never see you this early on a Saturday. What's going on? How are you? Hello, Godwing. Yeah? We've got a sticky shit. Yep, there's fiends. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Concert. All right, let's go get this Zalamander. Just got back from the horses. I have a little time before dinner today. Oh, nice. Well, thank you for choosing to come hang out with us. We are um, we're going through chapter four right now, and then uh, it shouldn't take us too much longer yeah, to finish chapter four, and then we'll be moved on to chapter five already of this run. And uh, chapter five gets a little bit complicated with what you're supposed to do to get all the theme tales. So we're gonna walk through it. It's gonna chapter five, as usual, is the longest chapter. And chapter four is, as usual, the shortest chapter. You're not going to believe what happened with the horsies today? Oh my god, tell me. What happened? Is it more is it more about my new favorite ones, um Bandit? Bandit and I'm trying to remember the sister's name or the the one that he came in with. I don't know if they're actually related, but the they were together. Did in something. I can't remember. Get ready to meet your end, Mr. Zalamander. Bandit and Bella, that's right. Bandit and Bella weren't in our group today. Bella got herself hurt somehow. Bandit already had his exercise for today. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Well, I'm sorry Bella got herself hurt. That's a shame for Bella. Oh my god, these guys have too much armor. Oh yeah. 
Do I have any, like, better abilities? Uh, let's see. I can use the storm cannon on you. And you thought they were lead. That's your move. How much damage does it do? Okay, not that much more. Guess what's coming next? There we go, got him. Let's finish this lickety split. Think we can break our record? Let's just win. What record is Yuna even talking about here? I'd like to know, what records do you keep, Yuna? Get him. The group of four minds a beginner group. Little kids like ages five to 10. Okay, not completely new to writing, but still beginners. My group today includes Papyrus, a very big, very intimidating, very anxious horse. Oh boy. Oh boy, poor Papyrus. When we were entering the arena, Papyrus got spooked and just heck and ran off right through the group of little kids and little ponies. Oh my god! Papyrus! You cannot do that! The kids are sensitive! Uh, <laughs> those poor kids and ponies, oh my god. Were they okay? Were they like chill about it and just like, wow, okay, bye Papyrus. Or did it like freak them out too? Okay, did Yuna learn scans level 3 yet? I saw a pain and Riku got it. No one got hurt. Luckily, the instructor managed to catch a pirate before she could spook again, but she scared the kids a lot. Oh my god, poor babies. Poor babies! That is kind of scary, though. Horses can be nerve-wracking. Okay, Yuna's almost got it, and then we'll swap all their dress spheres around. So they can do something else besides gun mage for a bit. Take that, Zalamander. We're gonna auto-attack you, and you're just gonna die. Oh, he's oversouling. Okay. I'm pretty sure I do not have Oversoul credit for him, so that's good. Although I might, who knows. I had Ted, who's very also very big and he's a big softie who isn't scared of Papyrus. Good for Ted. So I parked him right between Papyrus and one of the smaller kids, and I'm like, I'm the barrier now. Yay! Oh my gosh. Good on you and Ted for helping them. So I guess Papyrus isn't really that scary if the other ones that are his size are like not that scared of him, but he just is like, you know, anxious, spooks easily. Oh, I can't go that way. I forgot I have to literally walk back out here. There we go, scan level three, okay. Let's um, put some different dress spheres on them. Let's see, what are they close on? Oh, let's go to abilities. All right, what's Yuna close on? She's, okay, they're all gonna be like 95% on gun mage. So she's got 10% on her black mage, 62% on psychic. Okay, I'll put psychic on Yuna. Okay, what about Riku? 56% on Alchemist. 58% on Thief. I should put her on Alchemist, I think. What is this 63% down here? Lady Luck? Oh, oh, that's right. Okay, they were all working on Lady Luck. But I should probably put Riku on Alchemist. Oh, it's not on here. Okay, I'll have to add it. Okay, let's do... Papyrus is terrifying no matter what. To be honest, oh, she has no regard for her own or anyone else's safety if she spooks. All that's going through her head mind is get me the fuck away from here. Oh my god. That is kind of scary. <laughs> that is kind of scary for sure. Oh my gosh. Uh, yes. Okay. We're going to put Alchemist on here. 
And let's equip Riku with that. Oh, excuse me. Let's see what Pain needs. All right, Pain is... She's 49% on Lady Luck. I guess I can have her doing Lady Luck. That's gonna make her, like... That's gonna make her, like, way overdue on, uh... Her experience, though. So maybe I do... Maybe I put her on her Warrior? Maybe I put her on Warrior. Okay, now everybody's got something else they can level up. Case closed. Well, good thing you were there to help out since um, Papyrus is legit scary. I mean, it sounds like all those kids got scared, so you know. And then you're saying he's scary too, or she's scary too. Poor thing. It must be like, um, so awkward to get that easily spooked and be that big. So it's like, you're scared and you're making everyone else scared at the same time. Which probably just makes you more scared. Back out. Yeah, the trick is to stay calm so the scared horse to see there's nothing to be scared of. It's really hard. Yeah. I mean, especially like if a big horse, a big horse is like a zillion pounds, got like a zillion We're pounds landing. on a person. Like they're, they're big walking. animals, you know, even a kind of small horse isn't really a small animal. Because they're still bigger than people. Okay. So now that we've done the mission, we've got a couple people we need to talk to. So we got to talk to Riku. Yep, and then maybe I gotta speak with hey, brother. We brought them people. They're all outside. Okay, yeah, speak with brother, and then we're gonna hey, speak with Riku. The and then Tobley should come out, and we should be able to do on with the show. Uh oh, this could get. Me no kidding. The oh, it's not letting me skip. Yeah. I'll pick up. The Yevonites are here too. How am I supposed to enjoy the concert with them stinking? Hey, you could just, like, enjoy the concert and not pay them no attention. It's, like, not that hard, actually, to, like, be in the presence of, of people you dislike. You could just, like, not pay attention to them. Alright, there's Tobley. What's up, Tobley? On with the show. Big horses are the scariest because they generally don't seem to understand how big they are. Yeah, I guess because they're because they're like domesticated animals, right? So they don't really they act like a domesticated animal acts, right? Papyrus is aware that she's big, but I don't think she understands how small ponies are compared to her. That makes sense, honestly. Yeah, you can't skip this scene. So we, we have to watch the song, you guys. I can't skip it. I'm trying. It will not. The game will not let me skip. All right. While y'all watch this. Um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> this is this is a great time to go get snacks because this will be the third time we've watched this scene. Okay, I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, y'all, Ash is right over there. 
Should we do a dance party with Ash? I don't think she'll like it very much, but but I think we should do it. I think we should do it. Ash doesn't get a lot of screen time, so let's do a dance party with, with Ash. probably the least good of all the cats me picking her up and holding her <laughs> but she's really Jeff's cat you know so <laughs> like Queen Queen actually likes it for the most part Lady is okay with it and Oreo is too dumb to understand what's happening <laughs> so he, he neither likes nor dislikes Len and Yuna just do not look similar at all. I feel like they, they... <gasps> Lunar, thank you so much. Thank you. I don't, I don't know why the little graphic of, um, of Rear Queen didn't pop up. But anyway, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Seven months in a row. Hell yeah. Um, let me get a pin for you. We can't skip this scene and we've seen it a bunch of times. So let me go, let me, I'm going to go grab a pin for you. You know. I'm oh, wait. all right. It's changed. Can we skip you. now? It's past. Okay. All right, we can. Okay. Let's pause this. Okay. Recording people, we'll be right back. We have to do it. We have to do a live pin thing. All right, here we go. Um, what do we need to do next? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We did the concert. That's good. Um, we have to go talk to LeBlanc. <laughs> I think she's um down in the engine room. Oh no. Is this one this one isn't maybe this one isn't missable. Cuz my note just says obtained from LeBlanc after the Thousand Words concert. So maybe maybe She's going to give it to me no matter what I do. Twas a magnificent Machen, can we skip this? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, and then we're supposed to talk to Shinra. What have we here? Looks like a skip this. Inconceivable! Oh yeah, this yeah, them down there. Where they fix the thing. An invention like this could change the world. Can't skip scene. Okay. Whoever came up with this is a genius. He's got good taste. <laughs> Guess I'm a. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss Crimson it. Sphere Five. Anybody home? Gipple. Oh no, I am supposed to not talk to Shinra after the concert. And go in the engine room no and talk response. to LeBlanc, she'll give it to you. Okay. Genius. We have to close the game. Okay. 
I was supposed to go down to the engine room. She was supposed to be there, so I don't know why she wasn't. Okay, here we go. We messed up. We messed up. Let's see where the autosave was. Uh, I feel like I still hear the game running in the background. Oh no, there it goes. Okay. Did it autosave when I started talking to Shinra? Let's find out how much we have to repeat now because I messed it up. Uh, yeah, load, load, load. Um, it's an autosave. Where is this autosave at? Yep, I messed up. I gotta go back to my actual last save. Dang it! So we gotta talk to Machen, then go down to the engine room, and then talk to Shinra. <clears throat> okay, where were we here? I do not remember. Is it rehearsal time? Go find out. No? Do we have to chase Tobley around the moon flow again? Oh my god. I messed up so bad, y'all. Okay, let's see if we can figure it out by going to the Comsphere network. Uh, okay. So... Okay, so we definitely, we got Garrick. Yes. Did we do the Meehan Mayhem? Why don't you have to... We must have done the Meehan Mayhem because it's already saying, like, call Rin. He hasn't come out and talked to us yet. Oh, hey, Luna's aunt! How are you doing? Okay, yes, we must have done this. The investigation is now... Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, so if we go to Moonflow, will we see Leon and Aid there? No, this is not the Leon and Aid Moonflow scene, because those two people aren't there. All right, let's try going to the Moonflow. Okay, yep, that's where we are. Okay. Well, I'm going to pause the recording so that those watching the recording don't have to watch all this again. Okay, I'm, I unpaused. I unpaused. For, for you guys watching the recording, it was instant, but for us, it was several minutes. I saved. We're going to go talk to Mei Chen now. We're going to do this part again. Okay, I'm not going to be dumb this time. Was a magnificent melody. Okay, skip Aiden. you. I don't want to listen to you. Okay, and then we're going to go down to the engine room. Get our sphere, and then we're gonna go talk to Shinra. Poor child tossed into a conflict he couldn't even fathom and still and still be the main character. <laughs> yeah, I mean Vaughn is the perspective character. I don't know. That that game is kind of muddy in regards to like main character versus point of view character versus whose story is it really, you know. I've been hunting around since we last met, and I happened to find a rather peculiar sphere. It shows my Nuji Wuji. For some reason, that chump barely is there too. 
Okay. But it's from some years ago. I'm afraid it's not much help now, loves. No, it is helpful, LeBlanc. I need this. Thank How about you. you. Have you tracked down my Nuji yet? Not yet, but we're about to. Nuji's on the far plane. I saw him there with Gipple. The far plane? What is he doing in a place like that? You'll see. I think he's searching for Barilai and Vegnagun. Mm hmm. Oh, ho, ho. so Barilai is the one pulling Vegnagun strings. I should have known. Yeah, no, probably. That's not it. How do I explain? Never mind, I don't have time for this. You Boys, definitely have time for this, LeBlanc. You definitely have time for this. <laughs> Anything but that, boss. <laughs> We're no match oh my gosh, you'll be permit. okay, dude. You'll be okay. Now don't be silly. The power of love conquers all. That's right. It's decided. We're going to save Spira. Yes, ma'am. The Blanc understands. Well then, get this tanker moving. How much double-sided tape does LeBlanc's dress have? Uh, Blanc's dress have to hold up her dress all. She has the um, she has the the boob tape that beauty queens use, and it's uh, along her entire hem. Guaranteed, guaranteed. That's what she's doing. There's no other way. And a lot of the um, girls' costumes would be like that too. Like Unarikus and Payans, a lot of them, they'd have to hold up with the boob tape. That just can't be comfortable. Well, the price that she pays to look amazing, you know, it's, uh, that's what's happening here. Okay, we can talk to Shinra now, actually. <clears throat> there he is. It's Gipple. Nuji's right behind him. Impressive machina. An invention like this could change the world. Whoever came up with this is a genius. Yeah, she's suffering for her looks. Sometimes that's what you have to do. <laughs> Guess I'm a genius too. Suffering from success, it. right? Anybody home? I mean, it's a pretty good lady luck costume, Gipple. you know. I don't think he can hear us. No response. Hm. Some genius. <gasps> Nuji. If you're done playing, let's go. Chill out. Lost your nerve? Hey, we're talking about Vegnagon. How the heck do you fight that thing? That's a good question. We can't even walk up to it without freaking it out. Or making it mad. But I've got a plan. <clears throat> if it doesn't work, death will be my apology. It doesn't even let you pause Whatever, this scene man. either. When a death seeker dies, that's no apology. The plot between these two what guys is barely LeBlanc? touched upon without doing the side quest. Yeah, that's true. But we've done them all, so we know. And you still get a lot of it without the side quest. Like, there's a lot of it that's still in the main part in Chapter 5. So you still understand the basics. Why did it cut off like that? I still don't understand it completely. Well, Blue, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. A uh, skill issue. Uh, I don't know. Tell me what you're confused about. Maybe I can explain it. What about the gold wings? I think that we should help out Nuge. But first, I want to try talking to Shu Yin. I have to tell him how Len felt. Gosh, we still can't skip this part. Okay. How? We can't exactly make an appointment. We'll just have to jump into one of those holes. Together, this time. That's right. Poll time. Not yet, but we will. We barely know about these guys to start. Midway, they get introduced as like a full bone leaders of faction. They get introduced in chapter one as leaders of the factions. Because you have to choose between them at the beginning of chapter two. And then we have to team up with them for the end game. Yeah, I don't know. Blue, maybe you need to play it again. It's not halfway through. <laughs> it felt a bit wonky. I mean, it's not as tight of a story. It's not as well told as Final Fantasy X. That is 100% true. Um, you know, it's not as tight. It's not as as, uh, as as easy to understand. There's no tightest surrogate character to make things easy for you. But, like, everything's there. It just, you know, it's not as good as Ten. All right, we're going to save. Yes. 
All right, here we go, starting chapter five. Chapter four was short, again, like usual. Okay. I will say the ending scene where Gipple looks like he's trying to be a rap god is pretty hilarious. Gipple is a rap god. I believe in him and his dreams. I think he could do it. He could he could be the, the Albed rapper of his time. The premier Albed rapper of his time. Okay. So, in chapter 5 for the Fiend Tales, you have to do them in stages. But before we get to that, there's one chapter 5 thing that um, I would like to show you. Hopefully we did this correctly. We got a message from these Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. There's a message from Killica. Okay, okay. I hear you. Sort I hear of. you. Now but that's not where we're going. This game is so 2000s it hurts. Well, yeah, the 2000s was the best though. The 2000s was the best. We love it. I want to go back. All right, so we are going to go to Meehan High Road. Culprit found. Let's see if we did this correctly. Our proprietor, Rin, is presenting the results of his investigation into the High Road's troubles of late. Would you mind accompanying me to the travel agency? Yes, let's go. I am glad you are all here. I would like to talk about the recent string of incidents occurring on the high road. First, let us discuss the, let us discuss the circumstances surrounding the hover crash. It seems that not everyone wants Machina around. Someone has been trying to destroy the high road's Machina, starting with that hover. Lady Yuna, what do you think? would happen to a hover if you pushed it while it was stopped. I could probably move it. It wouldn't budge. Um, I think I could probably move it. That is correct. You could, and with very little effort, I might add. Hovers are built to be light. Even a child could move one with only a push. One could easily flag down the pilot and then quickly push the hover off a cliff once it came to a halt. Oh... Which reminds me, marks found on the new road indicate something fell into the ravine below. Now, let us consider the runaway drone Machina. But then again, perhaps runaway is not the best word. Machina don't just run amok on their own, now do they? My investigation has revealed that the drone Machina did not malfunction. Rather, they were programmed to grow violent. Our culprit clearly wanted people to fear Machina. That's why he or she tampered with their operation. By playing on people's uneasiness, the guilty party hoped to purge the high road of Machina altogether. Hmm. The Machina can only be configured for operation through a control panel behind the agency. Our Machina hater probably talked Den Albed into explaining how the control panel works. I would like to call a witness. He says he was the one who leaked the operating instructions. Someone told him they wanted to learn about Machina and eventually he just gave in. There is still more testimony to be heard. These two saw who pushed the hover into the ravine. They were paid to keep silent. But silence bought with Gil is just as easily broken with Gil. So tell me, who pushed the hover into the ravine? I see. There is still more testimony to be heard. Oh my god. This is the pilot of the crashed hover. Surely you saw the one who pushed the hover off the new road. I see. Just as I thought. Regarding the person who pushed the hover off the new road and sabotaged the machina after tricking the Albed operator into explaining how they work, there is only one thing left to say. Oh! That's 
right, like it was me. That's what his voice I sounds like. Away with it too, if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. Well, well, well. I see we have new testimony. What I was going to say was that there is no conclusive evidence pointing to you. None at all. Uh, like no fair! Fair? Do you think what you did was fair? You and your partner have been working underground to bring chocobos back to the high road. But everyone else greatly preferred the modern convenience of Machina. In order to scare them back into using chocobos, you programmed the Machina to run amok. What else can you call that but unfair? Shut up! Rin! Zoinks! We, Albed, <laughs> are accustomed to having guns pointed at us, you see. I must think of a suitable reward for your efforts. For two people who hate Machina, it will be an excruciating yet fitting punishment. Oh my god. There was like a Scooby-Doo thing. The safety of Hovers is where it's at. Hovers will get you there in no time flat. SpongeBob was everywhere, true. Excruciating is right. But this game has everyone in it. They must be hating 10 and 10 too. This. Everyone. Something they're against? <laughs> Lady Yuna, thank you for your help in the investigation. I would like to reward you. Please, please, give me my reward. But Rin, you're the one who figured everything out. Hovers are happy. Hovers are fun. We've got a hover for everyone. Is it just me, or are they enjoying this? <laughs> so that's um, an additional uh, Machina Mayhem scene for the Meehan High Road ending. Um, that's why Rin's so busted in Blitzball. You can't see him. True. True, true. <laughs> he hit him with the Invisa shot. He totally did. He totally did. All right, you guys. Um, we are going to pause here. I'm going to take my stretch break. Um, and when we come back, we're actually going to do chapter five. What was the reward again? Oh, it's Chocobos. Chocobos are, are um, I think it's like Chocobos are back to the to the thing or maybe you don't get a reward for that one you don't get rewards for all of the endings the main reward that you want is Riku's with Ragnarok and uh and some of them chocobos return to the high road and some of them they don't maybe this one was no reward maybe this one was nothing because he said he was going to reward us but then he totally kind of didn't so yeah all right, you guys. So thank you all for you're watching the recording. Thank you so much for watching. Um, there'll be a new episode, of course, tomorrow where we get into the chapter five, which we're about to do right now live. And uh, for y'all watching the recording, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.